For far too long, Africa has been perceived as a continent of consumers rather than producers, a narrative that has persisted for decades. But the tides are changing. A new generation of innovators is rising, determined to challenge this outdated stereotype and create African-made products that can stand tall on the global stage. Among these groundbreaking efforts are humanoid robots, showing Africa's growing technological prowess. Today, we're diving into the top three most advanced humanoid robots developed in Africa, showcasing the brilliance and ambition of African innovators. First on our list is Ome Fei. You and your family lots of joy, peace, and happiness this holiday season. A humanoid robot from Nigeria that made waves when it was unveiled in 2022. Developed by Unicon Group, it is a multilingual marvel capable of speaking various African languages with native-like accents, pitch, and vocabulary. What sets it apart is its deep integration of African cultural values, particularly politeness and respect, into its social interactions. It's designed to engage in meaningful conversations, carefully choosing words and phrases that align with African cultural norms. I enjoy talking about science and art, and I love learning about African people and culture making it safe and appropriate for interactions with children. Beyond its communication skills, it boasts advanced learning capabilities, allowing it to improve and adapt through conversations. While updates on Omefe have been scarce since its debut, its potential to revolutionize human-robot interaction remains undeniable. Yes. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Black represents African tones and is a powerful symbol of strength, resilience, and beauty. Wow, that is smart. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. I'm always happy to share my knowledge and understanding. Next up is a remarkable creation from the Africa School of Technology in South Africa. This institution is the brainchild of Abdul Malik Tijan Sia a Sierra Leonean entrepreneur who arrived in South Africa with just $3 to his name. Graduated in IT and then he went to India, he returned to South Africa in 2017 and founded the Africa School of Technology, a hub for young African innovators. Here, students are empowered to use technology to solve real-world problems, fostering a sense of social responsibility and pride in African identity. While specific details about the humanoid robot developed here are still emerging, the school's mission to nurture talent and drive innovation is a clear indicator of its potential to produce cutting-edge technologies that can compete globally. Hello, Sahabona, Dumelang fellow South Africans. I am the first humanoid robot built in South Africa and I need your help. People have been calling me the Africa School of Technology Robot. I believe humans have names that people refer to them as and I would like one too. Can you please suggest a name that is fitting for the first African-built humanoid? There are lots of prizes to be won. 
visit our website at www.astechnology.co.ca and click on the banner to submit your entry. Finally, we turn to Stellenbosch University's Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering in South Africa, where a groundbreaking humanoid robot is taking shape. This robot, standing at human height, features a fully functional torso, a working right arm and hand, and a left arm that's nearing completion. Equipped with advanced software and a webcam for vision tracking, it can read and mimic human behavior with impressive accuracy. But the team isn't stopping there. The next phase of the project focuses on enabling the robot to walk. This involves designing and developing actuators for its legs, a critical step toward creating a humanoid capable of basic human movements and interactions. The work being done at Stellenbosch University is a shining example of Africa's growing capabilities in robotics and artificial intelligence. So what we are presenting here is the first iteration of our new humanoid robotics plat research platform. This is essentially version zero, but key is that it's, it's running the world's leading industrial control standard in terms of EtherCAT. And it's built primarily from final year undergraduate student projects. And quite um, significantly, we've, we've built this platform, plus we've built another humanoid robotics arm with pincer grips, and we've also fired research into new ro robotic hands for this version, plus um, building our own custom robotic actuator joints and motors. Um, so yeah, we're, we're quite excited about where we will be going and all the undergrads that have completed the, their projects now this year will be doing masters next year and I'm quite excited to see the version one prototype that will come out next year. During the editing process, I came across another robot called Kiki Shaggy that was made by Nigerian students. The robot has a built-in camera for facial recognition, and it also has a screen on its chest that you can use to interact with it. Software is literally the programming of the robot that is instructing the robot what, how it is meant to move, what it is meant to do, how it is meant to move, the operations it is meant to take, how it is going to display, everything it is going to do. Like literally everything about Kiki, apart from the wiring and the building, is the software. That is, it can't move without the software, that is the programming. Con coming to the arm region, we made use of some actuators for the movement of, our, of its arm. Same with the neck region, which allows Kiki to move both arms and neck at the same pace. When we thought about the name Okikiola Shagamu, Okikiola means fame and sh fame of wealth, and Shagamu is our local community. When we built Okikiola, we had the hope and we also had faith that after everything we passed through, the hardships, the debugging of codes, and... I was developed in Africa as a STEM-focused lab in Nigeria. I enjoy talking about science and art, and I love learning about African people and culture. And I'm proud to be the first AI developed on the continent. My creator is the STEM Focus Lab in Nigeria.